Okay, this one here is the um, abolition plank we got put onto the Republican Party this past year. It's actually on the plank of the Republicans that we are to abolish abortion. Okay, also this year we had HB 948 written by an abolitionist le le legislator that would have made abortion illegal. In fact, it would have been voted on by September. It would have been abortion would have been illegal here in Texas in September. But none of the church, in fact, the right to life opposed it because it actually imposed the penalties for murder on those who commit murder. And it also said that we would defy the federal government if they tried to inter intercede. And that's what we're here trying to do. You see, the church isn't being the church. The church isn't treating unborn children the way they do born children. And the truth of the matter is, the church is ageist, ma'am. They don't see unborn children in the womb the same as they do born children. I thought that most Christian churches also disagree with abortion. Yes, they, a lot of them consider themselves, and I use little quote marks, pro-life. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it's one thing to have a good moral opinion and say, well, I'm against that. But if somebody was being raped right behind me, would the correct response be, well, I'm against that. I'll pray for you. In fact, I'll donate money to a center that, that says people shouldn't rape people. So what, what should churches do differently? Churches should stand up and be Christians. They should be standing up and speaking out against this. It's a holocaust. Over three, just in this time, you and I have spoken. Two minutes, four babies died. Two every minute, 24 hours a day. What, what church do you attend? We go to our church, we have a home church. We do church on Sunday nights at our home. Oh, okay. okay, and we have like four or five different families that attend. And we just do a biblical Acts style church. So this is more so shock value to get people like me who are curious. No, this isn't like shock value at all. This, Was it? I mean, it's, you have to admit that it's disturbing to children. It should other, be disturbing. It, it, it truly is. It I should mean, be. And, and so, but I mean, I guess you're okay if you had a little kid to see something like this, right? We actually have little our little kids out here. Um, let me let me ask you this: um, Are you familiar with? Because we're not pro-life. We're abolitionists. See? Abolitionists. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the abolitionists of slavery? William Lloyd Garrison, all those? That's okay. When I, when I saw that, that's what I thought. Right. And, and that's exactly what. Abolitionists say, no, you know, you had pro or anti-slavery people who said, hey, I'm against that. Abolitionists said, no more. We're going to stop it. We're going to do what needs to be done, and we're not going to compromise on God's word, because that's what pro-life is. It's a, it's a a way of regulating child sacrifice, treating it as healthcare. It's not healthcare; it's murder. Abolitionists treat it as it is. It's murder, and we will do everything in our power to stop it. That's why we had this bill go forth, HB 948, that would have made abortion abortion would have been illegal already here in Texas. It's already listed as murder. There's just pro-life exceptions in the law that say it's murder unless this person does it and this person does it. So, but as far as the abolitionists go, what abolitionists did besides working to get it made illegal, they used graphic images. They showed pictures of whipped, beaten slaves. When General MacArthur and General Patton and uh, General Bradley liberated Auschwitz. They made everybody in the town, in the city that surrounded it, walk through and look at it. Because if you don't look at it, you don't see it, it's like, oh, yeah, it's bad. It's a terrible thing. But when it's put in front of your face and we ask Christians, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that does that over 3,000 times a day? 
and they say, well, I pray about it. And I ask them, if it was your child being led to their death, would that be the proper response? So what other causes do you feel this passionate about, or is this it? Well, we're Christians. We, we preach the gospel. But we, you know, God's word says that we, we should be working with the weightier matters of the law, seeking justice now. Yes, we're against everything that God is against. But is there anything more serious than the murder of 3,000 of his image bearers every day? And unfortunately, the church isn't serious about it. I mean, really, this bill, it was killed by the pro-lifers in Texas Right to Life. Pro-life speaker of the house. Why do you think that? Pro-lifers look at women who murder their children as victims. And this bill, not, it's not retroactive, but if it's illegal to kill your child and you kill your child, you're a murderer. Right? If you rape somebody, you get prosecuted for rape. If you are a pedophile and you assault a child, you're prosecuted for that. And it's the same thing with abortion. If abortion is illegal and you murder your child, you're a murderer. But the pro- pro-life movement looks at the woman as, well, she's the victim. There's only one victim. Now, there's, you know, the circumstances where a woman could be forced to do this and that and that, and, and that needs to be dealt with. But I stood out for three years every day at these clinics. dead set on killing their children. And unfortunately, the numbers of Christians that are killing their children is very high. Very, very high. Thank you for taking the time to explain. Thank you, ma'am. Let me give you, are you on Facebook? We are the Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. Go visit us on our page, and you can find out more of what we... I mean, this is just a piece. We're here today. Usually Saturday is the day off because we out, we're out six days a week. But we're out at the schools Monday through Friday. The high schools. But you know how many children, high school kids, actually email us when their friends and their parents and their teachers don't know about it and say, Thank you. I was going to kill my child. We actually had a lady organize a protest. Of course. Of course. Of course. We, we will help anybody that asks for help. We, can, we have people that we can refer them to. And if we can't refer them to anybody, we'll do it ourselves. That is what the church is supposed to do. Thank you again. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you, and you have a wonderful day.